All right, you guys, how's it going here? Just doing a little leaky valve core replacement using the old Appian. Man, I love this thing. Ever since I got a couple of these, I threw all the rest of them in the ditch. The old Dicos, even the Yellow Jacket. I never really liked my Yellow Jacket a whole lot, so those Appions are worth their weight in gold. These things work good. Good for pulling a vacuum and everything else, but man, you know, when you find those leaky valve cores, don't leave them in there and just shove the caps on as tight as you can get them. Replace the darn cores, get rid of them, put new ones in. But I thought I'd show you my little parts box here real quick. It won't take but a couple minutes. It's just where I keep all my small odds and ends stuff. I love these DeWalt boxes. Everything stays in place really good. It doesn't move around a lot. And, you know, I've just got spade fuses over here. You know, your little stakes for the back of your boards, defrost boards, stuff like that. Uh, you got your little red caps for the train units. Uh, some odds and ends repair stuff for gauges you know got one of those little spouts to stick on the end of a like wd-40 spray some stuff gotta have one of them and over here on the other side just all those little screws nuts bolts washers everything to get you out of a pinch stuff that you gotta have you know more repair stuff seals for the hoses valve cores extra little bits for the screwdriver um, just some Little couplings and stuff like that that I can put rubber hoses on. Uh, all the stuff for outdoor fan motors, like the little 1130 seconds. Some washers and some of these, you know, little caps. Like this, those little crown caps that go on the top of some of those motors. You know, those things. They fall in the snow, fall in the grass, you lose them, you can't find them. Uh, got little pieces, you know, like for going in breakers. Contactors and stuff like that. Um, you know the little small screws there that hold the legs on the ream fan motors got some of them down in here uh, You know got some of these here um, Little gas valve parts, you know, we all drop them man We're in a crawl space and they go flying and then you're screwed So got some gas valve plugs You know the adjustment set screw plugs uh, You know, there's a water ferrule fix a water line on a humidifier uh, these little guys here you gotta have some of these the little jumper for the defrost boards you know for 30 60 90 and it flies off in the snow and you can't find it and then you're screwed yep gotta have some of those in there and some of these little guys here they come in handy like on the fuse links those old carriers man those worn heaters where these things would pop I found that you can just keep some of these and I keep a soldering iron on the van. You can just unsolder the old ones, clip these to fit the size and bend them and re-solder them back in there. It works good. I've never had a problem with them. So, you know, every now and then that's a repair. If you don't have them on the van, you can just fix the ones that are bad. So anyway, that's just my little spare parts box there. These DeWalt's, man, they cost like under $6. Those things are great. Uh, highly recommend them. And I went to the craft store, got some rare earth magnets, sanded down the magnets, sanded down the plastic, and super glued them. You know, kind of roughed everything up so the super glue would hold better. And then I can just take it and just slap it on the side, hang it up there. And then it's out of the way, but it's always right there when I reach in the door, or right there, ready to go. So, anyway, you guys, just thought I'd do a little quick video on that. Like those boxes, and make sure you get those valve cores out of there when they're leaking. Take a couple extra minutes to do it, and get you appy on if you don't have it. Alright, leave me a comment below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.